Hi, in this video I'll show you how to fill out a PDF form and how to sign with your own signature. Normally you might want to print the form, fill it out with a pen, sign it, scan it back in, and then email it or submit it wherever it needs to go. Well, instead of doing that, let's do it all on a computer. As an example, we're going to use the GVSU admissions form. You can, of course, apply online, but let's go ahead and download a PDF form here. Here is the PDF form, which is uh, multi-page, and we have signature at the very bottom. Now, the nice, thing, the nice thing about the preview program is that it will allow us, actually, to fill out the form on the fly. So, let's go ahead and download the form first. We're downloading, we're downloading the form, and by default on a Mac, it is going to open in the preview program. So, many forms, as it is the case with this one, allow me to type in um, text and numbers right into the fields. Now, sometimes you will run into uh, a picture, a PDF form that's just a picture. And so for that, watch my uh, next video about the GIMP program, where I'll show you how to fill out that kind of a form. But for now, we're filling out the form, and now we are ready to sign it. Well, here is a spot for the signature. Of course, you could uh, go ahead and just type in your name, but what if you wanted to have a signature that is your own? Um, well, here's what you would do. Uh, you would go to uh, Preview Preferences and then click on Signatures, or another way to get there is to open uh, the menu and click on Signature, Create Signature. Okay, so it takes us to the same place. And now my camera uh, is activated, and I actually wrote on a piece of paper a signature, which now I'm going to go ahead and scan. So let's see how this is going to work for me. I have uh, a signature here, and uh, we'll let the computer recognize it. All right, and here we go. Accept. And so now, I have this signature as one of my choices, and all I have to do is simply select where it's going to appear on the form. I can now go ahead and save the form. If I was to reopen it, it will already have my signature on it. Thank you very much. If you'd like to know how to do this on Windows with the GIMP application, take a look at my next video.